it's a practice that we teach people where they give and receive attention and support, like emotional support. And um, usually it's this timed practice where someone shares and the other person listens and then it switches. And it, it meets this need that so many people don't have in their life to have support and to really be heard. So it's really like an empathy practice. Do you think so? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. But also it's, um, the premise of it is that, uh, you know, we're raised in a world where we are uh, required to downplay our emotions. And so we spend our whole lives um, trying to tuck ourselves in and we end up getting really lonely because people are made of feelings. Like we're just, humans come out with all kinds of feelings. And so um, we teach people to learn how to notice that they have feelings and feel them in the company of someone else with true listening, without someone trying to fix them or cheer them up or whatever. And so that way you actually build intimacy in a way that's that's uncommon, and we're all so hungry for it. So this is a, a very dedicated practice to have that kind of attention and give it as well, and so we teach people to be very intimate. There's a very large international community called Reevaluation Co-Counseling, and um, it has very similar um, tenets to what we teach. Um, and I was deeply involved, oops, I was deeply involved in that in the um, 90s and it changed my life. I was in my 20s when I found that practice. And, um, but there were some things about it that didn't really work for me. And so over the years I took the skills and then uh, continued using them, teaching my friends. And then when we hooked up, she'd already been teaching some of the skills. And we, did what, we took what we loved from that practice and then we added all the things that each of us have studied um, to make it our own. Oh, so we are best friends. So that was part of wanting to teach together. And we're co-counselors, we're peer counselors. We peer counsel with each other. So we, we've been doing it for, I don't know. A long time. Yeah, we've both been peer counseling ourselves. So, and it's for me, I'm a very serious trauma survivor. And so for me, it's, a, it's my maintenance. It's like getting attention, someone is listening to me, vice versa, and then I know where I am and then I can do my day. It really keeps me centered and focused. I do feel like the practice we're teaching has the possibility of sort of changing people's lives and the world because everyone who gets changed by learning how to be truly themselves goes out and makes the world um, a safer and better place. It's not just about our own personal process but how we're affected by all the different ways that we're silenced and so that interfaces somewhere in our in the course that we teach we start really looking at the constructs outside of us and then how it relates to how we're reacting to it and responding. We as humans really need love and attention. That's what we require as children to get through day-to-day -day learning, day-to-day -day struggles, even falling down and hurting your knee. You need someone to lovingly hang out with you until you're through it hurting. And the same is true as we grow older. Is we really need through the difficult times for someone to um, just pay attention and, and not try to fix us and, and um, we're desperate for it, you know, so we're always wandering around and even in our day-to-day -day interactions at the store, you know, say, oh, I have a cold, oh, I have a cold, you know, we, uh, we one-up each other because we just are so hungry for quiet, empathetic attention and really the basis of this practice is that if someone's given that amount of love and care, they're going to figure it out, they don't actually need fixing. We have all kinds of brilliant tools inside of us to get us to what needs to change to make our lives better. And so that's, that's, that's what it's like to have really good attention. It's also about seeing that people are good. So someone who's giving you attention who sees what a good person you are and no matter how much distress you have or pain that you're expressing that they can hold it, you know how to heal yourself, you're a good person. And that's transformative for people. And we come in good, there's just no doubt about it. We all come in as good people. So something gets lost on the way and with enough love and care we'll find our way back to that place and that's truly the premise of it I mean there's so much more and it's so fun and so deep but that's the true basic premise of it mm -hmm.